So I've officially been playing Call of Duty World War II since yesterday, probably late afternoon. There is a lot of new things in this game, and obviously the biggest thing and the most amazing thing about it is headquarters. And there's so many new things in headquarters and so many cool things that you can do that in this video, I've decided to give you guys a full walkthrough. So when you guys get your hands on the game, you guys kind of have an idea of how everything works and where everything is and just are not as lost as I was. Even though it's not very hard, you kind of comprehend everything pretty, pretty quickly because it's very similar to what we've seen in the previous Call of Duties but it's in a different style they've implemented it in a different way and, it, and it's amazing it's really really freaking cool huge shout out to activision they just sent me the pro edition call of duty world war ii copy this is awesome it comes with the game i mean obviously <laughs> the season pass the steel book which i still have my aw steel book which i could have sold the game a while ago but i don't want to sell it because i really like the steel book i don't know why i like collecting them. got the new zombies weapon camo here as well the Carrington map, Call of Duty and Dome and Code Pack, and some music soundtracks. Huge shout out to Activision for always coming through and providing me with early copies of the game. And not only that, every time there's a new DLC, they fly me out so I can be able to bring you guys that are subscribed to this channel early gameplay. So you already know, holla at you. What's cool about headquarters is I'm going to get straight to it. The first thing you're probably going to do is you're going to go to mail and you're going to come here because there's always going to be like rewards every like three, four hours at at the current time of me recording this you get payroll which is like credits now these credits are called armory credits okay and you can spend them on supplies and stuff like that think modern warfare remastered that's where you get your mail also if you have like season pass and you got like this you know beta helmet for pre-ordering or playing the beta you can all collect it here so right here you see the carrington map that's not available yet at the time of me recording this because i think they're going to release it or unlock it for the game once you know it all goes live for the public here i unlocked my helmet i unlocked this outfit for my soldier etc etc now you have the quartermaster right here which is this young lady okay so you have contracts here that you can unlock so for instance this contract get 100 kills in any game mode if you do it you get xp 3000 xp on um, plus 25 armory credits etc etc you got 40 minutes to complete it for instance you have some that are harder than others and some give you xp some give you rare supply jobs for instance this one get 35 kills in tdm you have 10 minutes to complete it and you have 225 armory credits plus a rare supply job so those are kind of like the contracts that you get if you want to unlock supply jobs in a different manner okay you also have collections you collect things via opening supply jobs or basically by buying them with your credits exactly what mwr was that's what they kind of did in this game and i'm so so happy i just found that it, it was better like you don't necessarily have to buy supply jobs obviously supply jobs are gonna be a way faster manner to unlock everything but i truly feel like they're kind of giving you an option so that's cool and obviously if you get dupes i don't know how much dupes you get for getting duplicates i know an mwr was a massive amount and it made getting weapons really easy i don't know if it's gonna be the same here or they've made it a little bit harder i do not know yet because i haven't opened a lot of supply jobs so that's how the quartermaster works you can also press r1 as you can see at the bottom right hand side you can press r1 here and then you'll pop up the quartermaster main menu not the main menu, it's kind of like a little mini side menu and instead this you can use it like if you're all the way on the other side of headquarters you don't have to come walking over here you can just press r1 and you can decide to open supply job or rare supply job so then you also have your zombie supply jobs and rare zombie supply jobs which i don't know if you can open here or if that's only opened in zombies mode i haven't really figured that out or you can just go straight to the quartermaster right here that way you don't have to walk all the way to where she's at you also have right here the major howard this is going to be one of the first things you're going to do when you start into headquarters you're going to speak to him and you're basically going to select some basic orders that he wants you to complete for instance this one says get 10 headshots with lmgs you know get 75 fire kills or the special one which says win a match in every standard game mode you can only equip a certain amount of daily and weekly um you know orders from him in other words you can't just have all of them equipped you can only have a certain amount until you complete them once you complete them you have to come here and redeem them because if you don't you won't get the reward now the cool thing about that is that you could do a lot of stupid like little easy activities and you could get credits and xp um, especially when you first start off so make sure you follow all the orders and try and get the easy ones out of the way like i literally just got some xp or something for throwing five grenades into those tires into the firing range which brings us into our next portion of this video the firing range and it's really cool when you walk in here you know the camera kind of zooms in as you walk in here look it kind of zooms into first person then here you have your firing range and you can do it and you can do whatever you want here see this guy's probably completing the same thing i was telling you about 
throwing grenades into the tires. That's exactly what he's doing right now. Another thing, you can walk on here to the right-hand side, and you have two soldiers here that one is division prestige. This is where you prestige your divisions. Instead of doing it manually by just being in this menu, you actually have to go in here by your division, which makes it a little bit more adventurous, I would say. I think it's cooler. Once you've reached max rank to a certain division, you can prestige it. Don't want to do it right now because obviously that's not what this video is about and then here i haven't been able to get in here yet because look what happens not so fast soldier top brass only fascist. so you must be eligible to prestige in order to enter the prestige overlook so once you are prestiged okay once you first prestige for the first time you can go in there and if you look by here it's kind of like an overlook and i don't know what happens when you're in there you speak to the general and i don't know if you get different objectives or different orders or whatever it is if you keep walking through here Okay, this is a complete walkthrough right here, guys. All right. It's just hollow walkthroughs. Live on the flesh. Okay, so this is going to be the other side of headquarters, okay? It basically does a lap around it. Now, if you go through here, you can also go through this little overlook here and just go straight down. And you could kind of like cut like a little, you know, you don't have to go all the way around. You just go straight through the middle. Now, before we go over there, I'm going to walk you through here. And I'm going to show you on this side, you have your theater. And in this theater, this is where you're going to watch your MLG when they're playing pros and shit. It's going to be super cool. Like, you can come here with a bunch of buddies and just hang out and watch MLB, um, ML, MLB, <laughs> MLG TV or whatever it is that they're playing here. And that's what they were talking about theater mode. A lot of people had it confused with actual theater mode and this theater mode. I think this is pretty slick coming in here with your friends and just hanging out and watching like if you're actually hanging out together. It's pretty cool if you ask me. And yeah, this is pretty much this part of it, the theater part. Now, if you go down here, this is your emblems, okay? And this is where you can create, craft, and upload emblems and view the emblems, okay? For instance, right here, you can create your emblems and do whatever it is. Anything that has to do with emblems, you can do it here. Crafts. Create a unique emblem for yourself or to share with the community. And whether you can use it as a community, I'm pretty sure you can. But this is where you craft all your emblems and all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. Again, everything is made very similar to what Call of Duty normally has been. But everything's very adventurous. Just the fact that you have to, um, you know, walk through here on the, you know, on, on the headquarters just makes everything more immersive. And just, I don't know, it gives it a better... A cooler feeling i guess now here you have your 1v1 pits if you go here you enter the 1v1 queue you enter the queue you're obviously position and queue and do you want to enter the 1v1 arena you can say yes or no so i'm gonna say no because i don't want a 1v1 right now but that is where you will do it and you can literally see probably people here doing 1v1s or whatever it is i really haven't tried it out so i don't know how that works but that's your 1v1 arena the next up here you have your r and r this is really cool um you can actually play Activision classics like these are all games that they've made in the past. This is like Nintendo and like before Nintendo. Uh, some of these things I probably was like a little kid when these were out. Each one of these games are worth 10 credits. And once you buy these credits, I want to think, I want to say, okay, that once you buy it once, you don't have to buy it again. Okay. So it's like you can unlock all of them. It'll probably cost you about 120, 130 as there is probably actually 150 because there's 15 of them so 150 credits and you get all, you get all these games i think that's how you unlock them i don't know if you have to pay every single time that you that you want to play them which i doubt it but it might just be that now here we have gunsmith okay this is the gunsmith and when you walk to the gunsmith um obviously the gunsmith is right towards the right hand side when you come into the main part of the headquarters here okay so this truck right here gunsmith is basically where you prestige your weapon so enter prestige for a weapon once you've ranked out a weapon to the max you can come here and prestige the weapon for instance this ppsh is already max level okay so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna prestige my weapon prestige one you can now display your clan tag on your weapon and you will earn xp rewards again for each weapon level also you have paint jobs so you can view paint jobs because you could do paint jobs here it's not just camo it's kind of like bo3 which is awesome um upload paint jobs and craft paint jobs very similar to what bo3 had which i'm glad they brought that back that's pretty awesome you see it on the left on the on the left hand side of the weapon it says one mil i don't know if they'll fix that i would like for it to like look a little bit more engraved in the weapon i don't know if they'll probably fix it maybe i mean the game hasn't even come out yet now keep in mind if you go to the firing range you will spawn all the way back here again so just keep that in mind the good, the good thing is that the uh, the headquarters is not so big. So. so, yeah, that's Gunsmith. And then we have one more thing that I wanted to show you. Which is pretty freaking cool. 
This is your score streak training range, okay? You go in here and you enter your score streak training range. And after you do this, you can use all your score streaks one by one. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's pretty cool. It gives you a grasp of how the score streaks work. That way you're not completely lost. Okay, so first off, you're going to have just a bunch of enemies. They're going to keep respawning. And then right here, you're going to choose your uh, your score streak. You're going to press right on the D-pad to call it. And then you just throw them. Okay. And you got to press pause every time you want to get a new score streak. So right there, right now you press pause again. You call it another one. And you keep on trying it. Okay, so I'm going to show you all those score streaks. This is the recon aircraft. That's the UAV. Counter UAV. Keep calling them. You got to press pause every time so you get a new care package. Okay, so care package. I'm going to throw it here. Okay, so that's the care package. Now, this is a fighter pilot. You guys have seen this one more or less. That was a horrible call. I apologize, but... There it is fighter pilot now keep going you got the glide bomb okay that's the glide bomb you have the flamethrower which surprisingly enough I don't know the flamethrower reached all the way over here but it does you got the mortar strike all right you have your artillery strike which again you could keep calling these streaks so you see how they work you got your flat guns and here you're gonna get a lot of kills okay you're gonna get like a hundred kills easily you got your emergency drop you throw it out three emergency drops will fall down you got your fire bombing and it's pretty sick watch it's kind of like the one from black ops one the napalm strike in a way because it leaves a little trail of fire as you can see it'll leave a trail of fire and everybody that walks into it will obviously get burnt which is pretty fucking sick you got your paratroopers which they have been extremely extremely buffed okay then you have your carpet bombing as you can see right here and okay, the carpet bombing is actually pretty nuts you'll see it right now here it comes there it is oh oh snap yeah that's pretty massive okay look at the paratroopers getting kills and then the last streak you got the ball turret gunner which is probably the most insane streak in the game and you can practice with them. It's pretty sick. You can see right here. They're going to keep on spawning. So it actually lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I think it's like 30 seconds or so that it lasts. I'm not sure. But it's pretty decent. And you can get some decent gameplay with it. Or at least some gameplay experience with it. As you can see. And at least when you call it, you have an idea of what, you know, what the streak does. So you don't like just call it and then... You don't know what the hell to do, and you obviously lost it. So once you're done with this, you can keep on cycling between these streaks. They're unlimited, obviously. It's just for practice. And then to back out, you got to go to leave training, and then you leave score streak training. So yeah, that is score streak training. One thing that I do want to tell you, because you might be a little lost when it tells you when you first start, you know, yourself and you get here into headquarters, it's going to tell you to commend a soldier. The way you commend the soldier is you're going to press square on any player that's here, and you're going to go to commend player. I was kind of like, huh? How do, how do I come in the soldier? And you just got to press square and, and that's it. That's how you do it. You can also do a shootout challenge and all that cool stuff. This is basically how you interact with other players. That's pretty much it. I'm going to be making more videos. I'm going to be bringing you guys a bunch of new videos about a bunch of new things that you guys need to see in this game. So please make sure you guys keep tuning back into the channel. I'm going to try and bring you everything that I can as fast as I can. So you guys are ready to go once the game comes out. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments about headquarters. Do you think this is, uh, you know, a step in the right direction? I think it is. I think headquarters is probably the best thing to happen to Call of Duty in a long time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed yourself here today, Make sure you guys touch the like button and I'll catch you on the next video.